Welcome to Alco Spring Park. We're here on the west side of the park. Behind us here is a large meadow. What you see behind us here are a series of swales, and those swales were from the uh, uh, people on the Oregon California Trail. They came from over down the hill behind us over there, across this meadow, and down through to the river crossing below. The significance of this particular area where we're standing right now is uh, it was also in this general area was the burial of Sarah Keyes. And Sarah Keyes, of course, was the first member of the Donner Party to pass away on their, on their trail west. Uh, and she was buried somewhere in this general area. On uh, May 26th, I, um, they came down the hill back where to the north of us about one o'clock in the afternoon and they saw the river was banked full of water and they knew they weren't going to be able to cross. So they went into camp, probably right in this area behind us here, and the women started washing clothes, they started having meetings to write their constitution, and James Reed and Edwin Bryant went walking up the stream to Alcove Spring, where they found that place. Then the next day they, they knew they weren't going to be able to ford the river, so they started building a ferry. They called it, they just hollowed out a couple of cottonwood trees and they put cross pieces so they could run the wagon up onto that ferry. They called it the Blue River Rover. It's a, kind of a little unique name they had. And they uh, had to stop on the 28th because uh, on the 29th, Sarah Keys during the night of the 28th passed away. And so they suspended all activity and they carved a, a casket out of a cottonwood tree and then they buried her uh, on the next to the trail. They had uh, uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon, they had a procession to take her to the gravesite. A Reverend Cromwell gave, a, gave the whole service. And so then they carved a stone, a fellow named John Denton, who was a, from Sheffield, England, carved a, a marker out of limestone with her name on it, plus they carved it on the trees. So we know where she's buried. And so then the next day they were able to finish the, way, the ferry, they started crossing. They got about nine wagons across and had to quit. But then they got the rest the next day and then took off for the, to head up towards the Platte. So you wonder what's the significance of the Donner Party and her stay here in the Alco Spring Independence the Crossing area. If you read the history of the Donner Party, it was a series of late start. They had setbacks on their way out. They took the wrong trail. They got somewhat lost. They basically missed going over the Sierra, uh, Continental Divide at the, or the Divide at the Sierras by about a day. So they spent five days here because of Sarah Keys passing away because of the high water marks. So you could decide, you could figure that perhaps had they not spent an extra day or two here, we never would have heard of the Donner Party. We wouldn't know who they were. They wouldn't be famous for the uh, eventual cannibalism out in the Sierras and the horrible winter that they spent out there because good chance are they wouldn't have made it past here if they hadn't stayed here. So this is a pretty big part of what the whole Donner story is. It's another one of those delays that caused the whole problem to develop. An opportunity, it might be a good opportunity, if you want to learn more about their time here and the reason we know so much about it, read Edwin Bryant's book, What I Saw in California. He was with them and he wrote a book based on the whole experience. Sarah Keyes, who was the first member of the Donner Party to pass away on the trip west, uh, made it just as far as right here. When James Reed decided to go to California, probably uh, around 1845, uh, Sarah refused to be left behind. She had uh, one son who was last heard of it being in Fort Hall, Idaho, and she hoped to make it that far. So. Reed, who owned a furniture company and different operations, he um, made a special wagon so it'd be easy for her to get in and out of. This marker's not hers. It was placed here by the DAR. Her father had been in the Revolutionary War. But her grave is probably just up the hill somewhere. They said they buried her next to the trail. 
and they cut down a cottonwood tree, they made a coffin for her, and they buried her at 2 o'clock on the 29th. And I believe it's John Denton, uh, who was an engraver from Sheffield, England, carved a graved headstone for her that, that gave her name as Mrs. Sarah Keys, age 70, uh, May 29th, 1846. And they also carved on the trees. That gravestone is lost to history. Thanks for coming to visit us at Alco Spring Park. Mm -hmm.